Hey everybody, it's Fiore Fremen, and today I am going to show you how to log into Second Life from your web browser. Second Life made something that was pretty cool, and they're working on this thing called the Zero Project. Zero.secondlife.com, I think is what the URL is. Yay, it is. Okay, this is a, okay, so I'm in Chrome right now, as you can see. So it's letting you know that this is an experimental viewer. This is something that they're using, um, like streaming technology. So if you have a computer that can stream Netflix or it can stream Hulu or any streaming video service, you can now play Second Life. So that's really cool because your, your computer entry gateway um, is a lot bigger, right? Like it's, the gateway has just gotten larger. More computers can do this. So that's pretty exciting. So anyway, when you go to the website, zero.secondlife.com, and this is assuming that you've already made an account, okay? We have a Second Life account already. You can just kind of do your thing. You'll want to say yes to all of this stuff because this is how this browser is learning to interact like your Second Life program on your computer. Um, I have multi-factor turned on on my account, so I've got to make sure that I can get in really, really fast. Great. Okay. And now you can see I'm logging in. Now, Second Life has evolved this um, over the last couple of weeks. You might have, if you follow me on X, you might have seen a tiny little short video of me as a bird on, um, on you know, that I posted there. Uh this was back when Second Life opened this up to only people to come and test on for about 15 minutes. No, calm down, everybody here. I'm not naked. Here's me. I'm not naked, right? I'm doing a little bit of building here. But now I can walk around. Everything looks great. I'm on the mainland. Uh, I can show you here. Mainland. So I'm on mainland. And um, if I were to go and change preferences, you can kind of play with these a little bit. You can send IMs and stuff to people. Uh, let me just open up my partner here. Yo, homie, this is a video test. There you go. So you can type. You can type in local chat, too. Um... And you can, you know, I've even got a typing animation on so you can see Fiori doing her thing, typing. So works just like a normal b viewer. This is Chrome. So if I wanted to, I could just have like my normal Second Life up doing its thing or I could be, you know, searching in the marketplace. So this won't work on mobile devices like tablets or anything like that. Second Life really kind of wants you to use like the mobile app for it. It's free for right now. There may be a cost for later, but right now you can do it for about an hour. I feel like it's going to be pretty cool to use to maybe like quickly check some things if you're like a region owner or a landlord or anything like that. Um, it just gives you kind of like another way to access the grid if you need to, right? Like if you need to just quickly bounce on or you need to be able to access the grid without taking 40 million computers like I had to do when I traveled. I don't know. I, I think as a Second Life resident, it's really cool to have options like the Second Life mobile app. And now this viewer is another option so we can get people from around the world that maybe don't have thousands and thousands of dollars to to get a, you know, amazing streaming computer. I think the other really cool thing about this is for people like me that like to film, um, you do get the option to film your screen. Like if you use something like NVIDIA uh, GeForce, with NVIDIA GeForce to film, um, you could film with, you know, a, a quote, fast computer, right? Because that's what you're using to access Second Life. You could do that here. You could do that and film with a, quote, fast computer um, and give filming a try if that's something that you wanted to do. So really excited about this project. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing how it progresses and, uh, you know, what they decide to do with it. So thanks, Second Life. Fury out.